how to create a matrix report in Salesforce. Once you're logged in, simply navigate to the reports tab, click new report, choose all. And for now, we're going to simply try to create a report on the accounts object. We're going to say start report. And just to show as much data as you possibly can, I'm going to say show all accounts for all time so that it shows up all all pieces of data and does not filter anything out. Just to clean this up, I'm going to remove some of the fields over here. There we go. Now, in order to create a matrix report, we first need to group it by a particular row. For example, I'm going to group this report by the industry field on the account object, and I'm going to group it by industry. And now I can see that I have one account that belongs to the apparel industry. This is the name and this is their state. I have one for biotechnology, one for construction, and I have three customers or accounts that belong to the energy industry, right? Now this is a grouped report. If I want to make this into a matrix report, I will also add a grouping for the column. Right now I group this by row. Now I will also group it by column. So once we group a report by row and a column, it becomes a matrix report. For now, in this example, I'm going to group the columns by billing state. So I'm going to choose billing state over here. And voila, this is what a matrix report looks like. I'm going to run this report so that we can see a much better view. There we go. Now I can see I have apparel industry and I have the other grouping for billing state. I can see for the apparel industry, I have one customer in this state, North Carolina, and I have zero customers in the other states. For biotechnology, same, I only have one customer that belongs in California, and the total is one. All other states say zero. As we scroll down, we can see that for food and beverage, I have two customers in California. For energy, I have one in California, one in New York, one in UK. So I can see all the divisions and the totals as a matrix at a glance. And if I'd like to see the details of which account we're talking about, for example, if I click on two over here to see which two belong to California, I'll click on it and Salesforce will show me those two accounts down below. I can click on the account name to open up the account record and edit it as I'd like. Thank you.